In this video, we're going to learn how to use function templates in C++. Function templates allow us to write generic functions that work with different data types, allowing us to reduce the amount of duplicated code in our program. So instead of writing multiple overloaded functions to work with different types, like ints and doubles and other types, we write a single function template that represents a family of potential functions. And when the compiler encounters how we call the function, it generates a type-specific version of the function for us and uses it based on the function template. So let's say we need a function to find the maximum of two doubles, but we also need a function to find the maximum of two ints. We could use function overloading to solve this problem. So we could say double, find max, and then double A and double B. And we could return the greater of the two numbers. So if A is greater than B, we're gonna return A, otherwise, we're going to return B. Now with function overloading, we can make a function with the same name, but it's going to work with ints instead. So we'll say int, find max, int a, int b. But the function itself, in terms of how it works, the function body is going to be so identical that we can actually just copy and paste the body of the function, and it's going to work fine. The difference really is just the types. We have int here and double here. The problem with this is we have what's called duplicated code. This function body is the same as this one here. And in general, in computer programming, we want to remove duplicated code when we can. Duplicated code makes our programs harder to maintain and harder to work with. So for example, if later on we have to make some change to this function body, it's very likely we'd have to make the same change to this function body. Keeping track of the fact that we need to make the change in multiple places and where it needs to be made makes our code more difficult to maintain. Function templates allow us to remove this code duplication and they work like this. We could say here, template, angle bracket, type name, T. And this is called a template prefix. Then here, we can make a function. We'll say T, find max, T A, T B, and then we'll define the function the same as we've done before. So we'll just copy this and paste it there. So T is what's called a template variable. And we can also call T a type parameter. And the template prefix here allows us to specify multiple type parameters. Here we only have one. After we've done that, we can then use T in the definition of our function. And T becomes a sort of a placeholder for a type that's going to eventually be provided. Now, the interesting thing about function templates is that the compiler is going to look at how we call the function at compile time. And based on that, it's going to generate different versions of this function that are type specific as needed. We would call those generated functions template functions. So we don't actually need these definitions anymore of find max. We can just use our function template now instead and get rid of this duplicated code. So here we'll say double X is equal to 10.6, double Y is equal to 5.3. And we can use this function template to find the max double. So we'll say max double is equal to find max. And we'll say angle bracket double and then x and y. And we could output max double. So we'll say max double colon output max double here, followed by an inline. And if we save this and run it, we expect max double to be 10.6, and it is. So this angle bracket double here, this is making it clear that we want to call the find max function template, but we want to use the type double for these arguments and for the return value, because that's how we used the template variable here in those ways. We could also call the function with ints. So we could say int m is equal to five, int n is equal to three, and then int max int is equal to find max, angle bracket int, and then m and n. And if we output max int colon followed by the max int value 
and a new line, and we save run this, we expect max int to be five, and it is. And again, this angle bracket int here is making it clear that we want to use int in place of our template variable t up here. Now we could also use the keyword class here instead. We could say class instead of type name. And if we save and run our program, we'll find it works exactly the same way as before. So there's no difference really between class and type name. I prefer to use type name just because the keyword class I associate with defining classes. So I just prefer to use type name there. Now, one thing that's really important to understand about function templates is that the type specific template functions are generated at compile time by the compiler, almost as if the compiler was writing code for us. So here, when we call find max with double here and find max with int here, the compiler is going out and creating versions of this function that we call template functions instead of function templates. And it looks like this. We have these function calls and the compiler sees that for this function call here, the template variable T is going to be a double. And for this function call here, the template variable T is going to be an int. It uses the function template to produce two versions of the function, one for doubles and one for ints using our template variable to help it. And we call these the template functions. We call this the function template. And the function template is used to generate the template functions. And that happens at compile time, which is kind of interesting. It doesn't happen at runtime. So the compiler produces an executable file and we run that executable file. When our program is running, we call that runtime. Before that executable file is produced, the compiler is running to produce that executable file. We call that compile time. This decision to produce these template functions is made at compile time by the compiler. So for example, if we take out this code here that calls find max using double, then this template function here, the double version of it will no longer exist in the executable version of our program because the compiler never needs to make it. Now, one other thing with function templates is we don't actually have to specify the type here all the time. If the compiler can figure it out based on the types of the arguments provided, it will set the type variable on its own correctly. So we can take that out and we can take this out. And if we save and run our program, it's going to work just the same as before because the compiler can figure out that we want to use find max with double or find max with int based on the types of the arguments provided. Now we can also use function templates with multiple type parameters. So for example, here we'll say template type name T1 comma, and then type name T2. And we'll make a function that finds the maximum size in bytes of one of two arguments provided. So if the size of A is greater than the size of B, we're going to return size of A, where size of gives us the size in bytes of A or B, depending on what it is. So in my system and with my compiler, if A is an int, it will be four bytes. If B is a double, it will be eight bytes. Here we'll say else return size of B. So we'll return the size in bytes of the largest argument, either A or B. And because we're using two type parameters here, A and B can be different types. Let's try this function out now. Here we'll say int max size is equal to find max size, and we'll call it with x, which is a double, and m, which is an int because m is declared here as an int and x is declared here as a double. And then we'll output the max size. So we'll say C out max size colon, and then it'll put the max size followed by an inline. And we said that on my system, a double is eight bytes and an int is four bytes. 
So we expect the answer to be eight. And that is what we get here. We could then compare different types of things. So for example, we could say here, car C. And instead of the double X, I'm gonna pass in C. If we save this and run it, we now get four. And that's because an int is four bytes, where a car is one byte on my system. We could also say here, byte B. And we could pass in B here. Bytes also take up one byte. So now we have one byte being compared to one byte. If we save and run this, we get a max size of one. So this is how we can use function templates to reduce the amount of code duplication in our program in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.